The zebra finch is an estraldid finch, a beautiful finch. Estraldids of Australia are grass finches, found in continental Australia, but at some stage it has also been blown over towards Timor and eastern Indonesia, just south of the Wallace line. Here is a typical finding of zebra finches, feeding off open ground, looking for seed that has been blown there. The greater part of their time feeding is on dry seed, but as noted earlier, they will also eat green grass seed. Like most estraldid finches, the zebra is sexually dimorphic. Here on the Berkeley Tablelands, we came across this flock of zebra finches. It was just phenomenal. There were over 1,000 birds. When the bird density is so high like this, there is something attracting them. For finches, it's either seed or water. With the bird density as high as this, naturally enough, the raptors are about looking for an easy feed. Here, a falcon and a sparrowhawk can fly amongst the flock and grab one bird from the thousands that are there with little effort. Well, we soon found out what was causing the attraction for the finches. It was 40 degrees in the sun. And here is a water pool. This is the Winora boar. And look at the number of finches that are gathered here for a drink. They are in their thousands. Like most dry seed eaters, these birds need water to help with the digestion of seed. The zebra finch does well in an aviary and has been a favourite of aviculturists. It has also been used extensively in research and perhaps the most interesting and recent observation has been in the development of song. Listen to that call. Zebra finches make beeping sounds. A young finch, particularly a male, will learn the song from his father. Females just do the beep, meep, call, but a male will sing to his partner, and each male has his own song, passed down from his parent, so there is a neurological sequence for this learning ability. This neurological sequence involves the basal ganglia of the brain, and there is a forkhead protein which is the same in birds and mammals. This protein is abbreviated to FOXP2. And this protein modulates the learning behaviour in the basal ganglia. In mammals, it is important for the development of speech. And in birds, the same similar protein, with seven amino acids different, is also responsible for the development of song. Watch these birds at the Vonora borehole. They don't dilly-dally when having a drink because they know that there are raptors about. This sparrow hawk had been so well fed that he really didn't bother any more. He just sat and looked. Zebra finches, like many other estraldids, breed when the seasonal conditions are right. Usually, this follows rain because most of them are in the arid areas, and after the rain, the seed grows. A juvenile bird can look very much like a female, but it has a black bill. Drought conditions at Maree and the Nullarbor, empty nests, there is no grass, but the night temperatures still plummet, and so these nests are used as a nocturnal brood roost. On behalf of Plumes of Oz, I would like to thank you for watching this video.